Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this night. Give us this night. Our daily rest. Our daily rest. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not. Lead us not. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From the evil one. For the evil one for that is the kingdom and power of God ever and never. Good night, God. Yep, it happened again. Yeah, I know. It happened again. Just, we'll just keep on going. Yep. Hello? Oh, yeah. August 30th. Jesus is calling. There is no place so desolate then you cannot find me there. When Hagar fled from her mistress Sarah into the wilderness, she thought she was utterly alone and forsaken. But Hagar encountered me in a desolate place. There she addressed me as the living one who sent me. Moving on. Who sees me throughout the encounter with my presence? She gained the courage to return to her mistress. No set of circumstances could ever isolate you from my loving presence. Not only do I see you always, I see you as a Redeemed saint. God is radiant in my righteousness. That is why I take great delight in you and rejoice over your, you with singing. Genesis chapter 16, verse 7 to 14. Psalm 139, verse 7 and 10 to 10. Sephaniah, chapter 3, verse 17. A healing prayer for our sick loved ones. All our sick loved ones, yours and mine. Almighty Lord, I come before your throne tonight on behalf of all the sick loved ones. Father, they are weak and their body is in pain and distress, Lord. God, I pray that you have mercy on them and heal them from the, all these diseases. You were the Lord. You were the all-powerful one. And Lord, you said if you had the faith, just the faith of a mustard seed, you, we can move mighty mountains and, dis, and destroy and come before you and ask. You're the almighty one. There is nothing yet is beyond you. So I humbly ask you to touch them with your healing grace, Lord, and restore them to health. Remind them of your love for them and help them to trust in you for their recovery. Show them your healing power and make them whole again. In Jesus' name, amen. Tonight, Bobby, you were going to start and read to the end of 1111. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in the darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my Skin and my flesh grow old, and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. Okay. 
Hello? Did I lose your voice? No. He has seen my skin, flesh, and grow old, and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walked me in so I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help. He shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked. Like a bear lying in wait. Like a lion in hiding. He dragged me from the path and mangled me. Let me without help. He drew the his bow and aimed those targets for his arrows. He pierced my heart, my good arrows from his quiver. I became a laughing stock of all my people. They mocked me in song all day long. He has filled me with bitter herbs but bitter herbs and given me gall to drink he has broken my teeth with gravel he has trampled me in the dust i have been deprived of peace i have forgotten what prosperity is so i say my splinter is gone and all that i had hoped from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my wander wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I remember, I well remember then, them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. To the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly. For the salvation of the Lord, it is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who will strike him, who will strike him. Let him and let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Through the though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great in his unfailing love, he does not willingly bring sick affliction or grief to anyone. To crush underfoot all the prisoners in the land. To deny people the, their rights. Before the Most High, to deprive them of justice. I, would not the Lord see such things? Who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? It is not from the mouth of the Most High that both calamities and good things come. Why should the living complain who's when punished for their sins? Let us examine our ways and test them. And let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts in our hands to God in heaven and say, we have sinned and rebelled and you have not forgiven. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us 
you had slain without pity. You have covered yourself with a cloud, so, so that no prayer can get thrown. You have made us scum and refuse among the nations. All our enemies have opened their mouths wide against us. We have suffered terror and pitfalls, ruin and destruction. Streams of tears flow from my eyes because my people are destroyed. My eyes will flow unceasingly without relief until the Lord looks down from heaven and sees. What I see brings this grief to my soul. Because all the women of my city, those who were my enemies without cause, hunted me like a bird. They tried to end my life in a pit and threw stones at me. Waters closed over my head and, and I thought I was about to perish. I called on your name, Lord. From the depths of the pit. You heard my plea. Do not close your ears. To cry for relief. You came near when I called you. And you said. Do not fear. You looked. You Lord. Took up my cause. Case. You redeemed my life. Lord you have seen the wrong done to me, uphold my cause. And this is Lamentations that we've been reading. You have seen the depths of their vengeance and all their plots against me. Lord, you have heard their insults and their plots against me. What my enemies whisper and mutter against me all day long. Look at them sitting or standing. They mock me in their songs. Pay them back what they deserve, Lord. For what their hands have done, put a veil over their hearts, and may your curse be on them. Pursue them in anger, and destroy them from under the heavens of the Lord. How the gold has lost its luster, the fine gold become dull. The sacred gems are scattered at every street corner. How precious the children of Zion, once worth their weight in gold are now considered as pots of clay, the work of the potter's hands. Even jackals offer their beasts to nurse their young, but my people have become heartless, like ostriches in the desert. Because of the thirst, the infant's tongue sticks to the roof of its, of its mouth. The children beg for bread, but no one gives it to them. Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the streets. Those who brought up those brought up in royal pur purple now lie on ashes heaps. The punishment of my people is greater than that of Sodom, which was overthrown in a moment without a hand turned to help her. Her princes were brighter than snow and whiter than milk. Their bodies more ruddy than rubies, their appearance like lapis lazuli, and now they are blacker than soot. They are not recognized in the streets. Their skin has shriveled on their bones. It has become dry as a stick. Those killed by the sword are better off than those who died of famine. Racked with hunger, they waste away for lack of food from the field. With their own hands, compassionate women have cooked their own children who became their food. When my people were destroyed, the Lord has given full vent to his wrath. He has poured out his fierce anger. He has killed it, a, kindled a fire in Zion that consumes her foundation. The kings of the earth did not believe, nor did any people of the world that the enemies and foes could enter the gates of Jerusalem. But it happened because of the sins of her prophets and iniqui iniquities of her priests who shed with her the blood of the righteous. Now they grope through the streets as if they were blind. They are also defiled with blood 
that no one dares to touch their garments. Go away, you are unclean, people cry to them. Away, away, do not touch us. When they flee and wander about, people among the nation say they can stay here no longer. The Lord himself has scattered them. He no longer watches over them. The priests are shown no honor, the elders no favor. Moreover, our eyes fail, looking in vain for help. From our towers we are watched for a nation that could not save us. People stalked us at every step, so we could not walk in the streets. Our end, end was near, our days were numbers. For our end had come, our pursuers are swifter than eagles in the sky. They chased us over the mountains and laid wait for us in the desert. Lord's anointing, Lord's anointed, our very life breath was caught in their traps. We thought that under the, his shadow, we would live among the nations. Rejoice and be glad, daughter Edom, you who live in the end of us, but to you also the cup will be passed. You will be drunk and stripped naked. Your punishment will end, daughter Zion. He will not prolong your exile, but he will punish your sin, daughter Edom, and expose your wickedness. Remember, Lord, what has happened to us. Look and see our disgrace. Our inheritance has been turned over to strangers, our homes to foreigners. We have become fatherless. We have become fatherless. Our mothers are widows. We must buy the water we drink or the wood, wood that can had only at a price. Those who purchase us are at our heels. We are weary and find no rest. We submitted to Egypt and Assyria to get enough bread. Our ancestors sinned and are no more. We, and we bear their punishment. Slaves rule over us. There is no one free, no one to free us from their hands. We get our bread at the risk of our lives. Because the sword of the sword in the desert, our skin is hot as an oven, feverish, feverish from hunger. Women had been violated in Zion, the virgins and towns of Judah. Princes had been hung up by their hands. Elders shown no respect. Young, mill, young men toil at the millstones. Boys stagger under loads of, loads of wood. Elders are gone from the city gate. The young men have stopped their music. Joy is gone from our hearts. Our dancing is turned to mourning. The crown is falling from our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned. Because of this, our hearts are faint. Because of these things, our eyes grow dim. For Mount Zion, which lies desolate, with jackals prowling over, you, Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. Why do you always forget us? Why do you forsake us for so long? Restore us to yourself, Lord that we may return and renew our days of old. Unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. Heavenly Father, I brought the best in you, and Jesus the devil has no more power me. I believe in his lies. Always remember the devil operates the power of blind signs and fake wonders. Praise be to God. I pray in Jesus' name that these hackers Stop it! Am I being punished? Am I being punished because I, I don't know if I'm being punished or not. But these hackers are trying to ruin my life, and they're ruining my mom's life too. Bob, stop! Do not give the 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 devil glory. Right. Shut your mouth and be humble. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, mom. Do not give the devil glory because he's got to you. Yep. So repent right now. Have we five for giving off what I have sinned, for giving off my sins? Why should we just sing the world with Jesus? Heal my computer, Lord Jesus. 
In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. That's right. Now you calm down and stay that way. August 30th. Let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. Look at me. Look at me. Watch this. How often children seek recognition from just about anyone who will st who will watch. Even though the, di the dive bomb into the water looks exactly the same as it did the last time, or the cartwheel is still lopsided after 30 attempts. Onlookers continue to encourage the repetitious behavior. Are we really very different from those children? Don't we also look for recognition in life? We want someone to notice our efforts, our charity, our diligence, our excellence. And though we hate to admit it, we may even get a little upset if nobody does. We can choose to search for recognition from others, or we can believe that God sees everything we do. Because he does. He is interested in that project we've worked so hard on. He's delighted when we spend our time serving others. He loves it when we do our very best. God, I don't want to waste my time trying to be recognized by others. I want to share what I have without holding back, knowing that you have your eye on me and you don't look away. God is with us right now and forgiven us for our sins. Powerful precepts. Only one thing vindicates a message or a messenger. The whole counsel, counsel of the word of God. This is what God has to say tonight. My word is, my word is true, and it is a shield to everyone who comes to me for protection. Proverbs 35. One of the most important things that you can do is to meditate on scripture. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. That's Psalm 119, 92 to 93. I want you to be I want you to be prepared to deal with life. And the more you understand and apply the teachings of my inspired word the more success you will have as you do the work I've assigned you. The precepts in my word are correct. They give joy to your heart. My commands are radiant and give light to your eyes. Consider this. My principles have given you all the guidelines and instructions. You, you have need to live productively. My truth eliminates the issues you face. In a complicated world, it also brings the comfort of knowing you hold in your hand everything you need to make the right choices. I will equip you to do every good work, 2 Timothy 3, 17. Now this here is really important what I'm gonna say now. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understandings. To him belongs eternal praise. Praise be to God. All of this, all of this. And as I say, Bobby has a way to go. He doesn't know how to hold in his anger yet at people when the devil comes against him. which is true, but all you have to do is just keep calm and realize that if you get angry, the devil has succeeded. 
But if you stay silent and accept whatever thing has happened and then praise God for the strength that you've done it. That is the way for everybody to be. Oh, there's so many things in so many ways. We've all been that way. We get so angry when somebody offends us or comes against us. In anger, in anger, we lash out. It took me a very, very long time to conquer my anger. Oh, let me, my, I had a, a shot fuse. I've always had a shot fuse. But once I became, I accepted Jesus as my savior. Not that I didn't love him all my life and believe in him. It's then when I developed, instead of religion, a personal relationship with him. I was able more. No matter how many times I prayed, I never felt as close to him as I do now. He has helped me. He's helped me with forgiveness. He's helped me with my temper. Ah, not all the time, though. Sometimes I do flip. And that's my sin. But I really try to control it. But, you know, mm. we're all like this. We're all like this in the world. It is something that you have to learn to control. And I have been doing a very mediocre dry thing. There was many things in my, my life that I really had to conquer. And I thank God. I haven't 100% conquered, conquered my shot temper, but let me tell you. I'm almost there. I accept things and I don't let the enemy conquer me. Because greater is he that is in me. The Holy Spirit came into me and is with my soul and ministering to me day by day so that I can continue to minister to you and get the word out. So just take a baby step tonight. Sit down. I don't know when you're going to watch this either tomorrow morning or, 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 or tomorrow night. But the thing is, just take that one minute, shut everything off and have a minute of silence. Just a minute of silence so that God could speak to you. And believe me, he will. So that's what I kind of I have to give you tonight. Take that minute. Be quiet. No distraction. And if it doesn't happen, the next day, take another minute. He'll, he'll know that you're seeking him. You want him to speak to you. And that he is real. So may God bless you and keep you. And may his light shine upon you tonight. Good night. Amen. In the name of Father and Son and the Holy Ghost. You take care of yourselves. Good night and amen.